and we are rolling, literally. It's been a good week so far actually for me, for um, a couple of reasons. Yesterday I had a, a nice meeting with Plesma, British Limbless Ex-Servicemen Association, but where we had it was, uh, funnily enough, you know, probably less than 100, 100 metres from here, in fact. Um, still on the grounds of Erskine and it's called the Reader McEwen Centre there's an abbreviation but I can't remember it right now uh, I know it's the Reader McEwen Centre and this building honest to god the, the lady that runs it, Debs um, over the course of how since I've been here since um, 2019, October, I think it was, 27th. Um, and in that, since then, up until now, uh, Debs, the, the lady that runs it, she's she's reached out so many times to me to, to, to go down and use the facilities. I've always shied away from it because it's a building where um, there's a lot of activities going on painting, computers, um, therapy rooms, the, the place is like an art gallery and I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous when you go inside that some of the, some of the things uh, people have created, some of the, the people, veterans, um, it's basically a, a building for veterans to come and relax, um, express themselves in different ways. You know, some people suffer from um, all ranges of physical disabilities, mental mental disabilities, psychological, you know, stresses in life. And this place is just a place to express themselves. And, and um, guys coming from all over, there's guys um, on the estate that that go there. There's And there's guys that come in from um, all around. Scotland, I dare say there's people that have travelled up and down the country just to come to this place um, and I was there yesterday to have a meeting just regarding care packages and, and housing and stuff and it went pretty well um, again I'm I'm uh, blessed blessed to have Blesma on my side and um, Erskine as well uh, yeah, the, the meeting was pretty positive, but it's still it's still a waiting game at the minute. Um, waiting on social work, so moving on from that. But um, reading the McCune Centre, so actually spoke with Debs at the end of the tour, and and we've arranged to hopefully. Um, I'm fully aware how many times I say M, so consciously I'm going to try and stop it starting from now. So. After the, the tour, I spoke with Debs and we, she's going to send me out the, the schedule via email and we're going to book a time slot for me to go down and use the facilities, whether that be art. So I spoke to her about my love for art, I've always... Gavin soup. Um, <laughs> I'm having soup. Oh, it's for dinner. You're, on, you're, on, you're going to be on a video, by the way. It's your fault for... No, your Sorry. fault for interrupting, but it's your fault for... My, your fault. You haven't You've got to be famous. No, I'm already famous. You're already famous. Right. Hopefully for all the right reasons. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> uh, what's for dinner? I don't you know. come up here and no, 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 what's for dinner? No. Right, okay, so put me up for soup. Put you up for soup. And I might say no, depending on what dinner I'll is. I'll just put your... Your soup cup it right and then... Lovely. Like it, you can, if you don't, don't. Lovely. What time is it? Half past, twenty past, half past. I need to run around and bury these cups in the bunker. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Soup it is. Um, so... So I'm going to go down and check out the, the IT room. There's loads of help there and... Um, <laughs> 
and suggestions and you know software that I could maybe even introduce some of the software and hardware that I've got and then there's an art room oh my god literally there was four or five guys in there in each station so perspective see through walls like you know separated each guy because of obviously the covid and stuff but i was stopping and I was, there was there was one guy kevin who i got speaking to and he had built a a lighthouse from clay he it, it, it constructed it from just looking at a picture but this thing i have never seen anything like it in my life it was absolutely out of this world so we got chatting and uh, looking looking forward to the future. I'm, I'm really looking forward to just going down there and hanging out and just watching these guys work because, man, give somebody some time and and the uh, right equipment. Um, let them go. Let them go. Let them run loose and wow. So some of these uh, projects that people have had for God knows how long and some of them were, you know pretty quick at uh, constructing them, so I've been over a, a long period of time, but it was just absolutely fantastic, so really looking forward to come back to the Reading McEwen Centre, so that was yesterday, um, a, a, a good meeting with Blesma, a, a cracking tour of Reading McEwen Centre, and uh, good you know, future prospects, if I'm living on the estate here and I have that uh, facility, uh, it's got a lift in it, Take you upstairs into like a pool room, and a, there's you know, I, I think there may there might be a little cafe up there. I think it was closed, but you know, in in good time there there may be scope for that opening. So that would be great. You know, just going up there for a, a brew and chat to some of the, the veterans. Uh, so that was really good yesterday, and tomorrow. Tomorrow, which I said in my last video, I'm going to meet. I'm going to meet Glenhead at Glenhead Engineering. Um, I'll be speaking with them, and also meeting with uh, Strathclyde University. And this is the kind of first step to putting the steps in place. So I'm buzzing about that. And then after that, I'm moving across to Golden Friendships to do, listen to me, yeah, big shot in that, to do a little um, uh, camera video work for a possible uh, documentary. There's, this is with Demis Productions, so there's there's loads of uh, documentaries been been what's the word tried and tested with commission board. This is very uneducated um, description, but so you need to you need to get the pitch right, and that's what we're planning on doing. We're we're, tr we're we're getting the story right, the the background, um, the setting. Try you know try to make sure everything's everything's uh, appealing to a commissions board, and then these guys year and it. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, getting that and just going to the Golden Friendships is always a pleasure. The certainly with the gang having having a wee brew. Uh, and that's tomorrow. So it's been a good week. Unfortunately, yeah, the, the, the rotten weather's coming, but you know, I still, I'm not, I'm not a believer. See, when I sit in this sun, I, I let ask Alexa every morning, how's the weather going to be? And she lies to me every day. She told me there was going to be thunderstorms, um, rain clouds, and I'm, I'm absolutely burnt from today. My forehead's fried, but just in case she's accurate this time and all the little weather warnings I've had on my phone are right I thought I would do another short video I really hope this one's shorter than the last because I know 22 minutes can be pretty boring and um, 
I've already been told that a few of my mates fell asleep halfway through the video, so I'm, this one's short and sweet. Just let me. I'm only what a good. Must be shorter than five foot, which makes me short and sweet in my eyes. But look at my surroundings. Look at that. I know I'm going a bit fast, but it's beautiful. This morning I watched a seagull pick the brains out of our little baby rabbit. That was interesting. That was like during lunch. It never stopped me eating um, rabbit stew. Um, jokes. My my uh, soup. Hilarious, aren't I? But I could see like the the little stringy bits and stuff. Anyway, moving on from that. Do you know what? I've had horrendous nerve pain today. I don't know if there's anyone. I, 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 I'll probably will say it every video. If there's anyone, because I'd love to know. If there's anyone watching these videos or uh, find the nerve pain thing interesting, but have any like hints or tips or background knowledge or personal experience on nerve pain, um, please contact me. Share the post to someone that you might, or the post the video, someone that might know. Because it's been going on three and a half years now, I think. Is it? April 2019. Oh, my maths, excuse me, is terrible. But, like, really bad. But it's been a, it's been a little while now, and every single day, the the body I'm going to call it because until I get control of it, it feels like it's someone else's. Um, my the body is in agony. So it's like my best way to describe it's not my best way, but a short way to describe it is like a firework display gone wrong. So the, the millions and billions or whatever nerve endings, all those little endings trying to make their way up to the brain end up getting cut off. It's a very um, well, quick explanation. And it's, then they end up having nowhere else to go. So they just dart around like wee dafties inside my body, causing the ultimate pain, chronic pain. It is beep crap. And doesn't matter how much medicine I take or therapy, that's a lie. I had um a physio come round, Aileen, and she would just without mo uh, moving anything because I was I was a bit sore, so she just, she just gave me like a, a a head massage and you know the the ears and there's so much stress in the jawline and the ears and the temples and the forehead and the hair and and it was it was great like it, it did actually reduce the pain levels which led, leads me to believe it's a, a lot to do with thinking you know psychological but um there has got to be something out there that um helps with pain me. Yes? You want to be famous as well? Yeah. Just got a, like, what, I'm on. You're too late, this isn't getting cut. This is on. This is, so you better be nice because it's going to be. So I don't know if she's going to find it difficult, but yeah, you need to be nice. Was well, that right? And now she wants to say. And now she wants to say. Anyway. Is it stopped? So no, I can speak? No, no, no. It's, it's live, man. Yeah, you can go behind it if you like. You can speak to me from over there. But we all know you might be in front of you always wonder. <laughs> and it's uh, very, very sensitive to... Yeah, I can't. I can't. You can't. I can't you understand no, that No, I can't way. repeat it. Right, anyway. I'm just going out to the, to the masses. Okay. Oh, sorry, I've only got like seven subscribers, so... <laughs> but one of them was my mum, so you better 
Right, start it's running there. Did you receive um, the message from Mr. Kennedy? Oh, fuck. Uh, I haven't really been on my phone. Oh. Now I'm going to have to edit this bit. Right, and we're back. Uh, no, I did from this morning. No, I haven't anything else after that. Can you have a look, please, yep. for me? Yep, I will. And then, can you... Don't say anything in these edits, because editing is dead stressful for me. With colours. With colours. Okay. Um, right, well, can you let me know, please, and then yep. we can send a thank you to him. Yep. Thank 100%. you. 100%. As, as, as soon as I've uh, done my little blog, blog thing, you know. Okay. I will... It's probably a virgin on uh, the 22 minutes, as soon as the one I've done on Monday night, which I've been told was very boring, so good timing. Bye. Go post. Look, you're making me stutter. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>